so gracious, so merciful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He didn't let the devil have his way. He didn't let death have its way. Hallelujah. 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 You know, death would have took you if God would have let it have his way. Thank you, Jesus. Death wanted to grab you while you was in your sin. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Glory to God. He wanted to grab you when you stepped out of God's will. Hallelujah. Oh, but God had mercy. Thank you, Lord. God had grace. Yes. Hallelujah. I was unworthy of it, but he gave me a refuge. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. He gave me a name to call upon. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it wasn't mama. Come on here, somebody. How many know you can call mama, but mama might not hear you? Glory to God. Mama might be sleeping, slumbering. Glory to God. Ah, but God said, I don't sleep no slumber. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. It wasn't daddy that he gave me. Hallelujah. You, to call on hallelujah. in my time of trouble. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Because daddy could be missing. Glory to God. Daddy could be locked up. Hallelujah. Daddy could be at work and can't get off the job. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, but thank God he gave me a name. Glory to God. That I can call on. Hallelujah. In my trouble. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. I can call the name that is above every name. Hallelujah. Don't underestimate the calling of the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The church that got so sanctified. Some don't even believe on the calling of the name of Jesus anymore. Hallelujah. There was a time you called the name of Jesus for every little thing. Hallelujah. You would hear the name of Jesus in jerk. Hallelujah. But people have got so sanctified, ah, so holy, and think that they're so self-sufficient, glory to God. Ah, hallelujah, that they ah, forget that there's power behind the name of Jesus. Ah, hallelujah to God. Ah, thank God for Jesus. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Ah, I can call you in the morning. Ah, because you're not sleep at midnight. Ha. I can call you hallelujah. Ha. For you don't sleep nor slumber. Ha. Thank God. Ha. Jesus. Ha. Jesus. Ha. Jesus. Hallelujah. Ha. I might not be feeling my best at times. Ha. But I call the name of Jesus. Ha. And the first few times you might not feel nothing, but you close your eyes and just say Jesus. And before you know it, you're screaming the name of Jesus. Because uh, he got you feeling so good. Uh, hallelujah. And by faith we believe that. Uh, hallelujah. The name of Jesus uh, can work wonders. Uh, it can work wonders and miracles. Glory to God. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, Somebody say Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. Hallelujah. Shout Jesus. Don't forget you can call him. Hallelujah. He wants you to call him like somebody's after you. What kind of call would you make? Somebody was trying to take your life. Jesus. Help Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, let's go before the throne of grace. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I thank you right now. Mm, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your presence. Hallelujah. 
Thank you for the word. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. That we believe there's only one way to you. Hallelujah. There ain't two, but there's one way to you. Mm, thank you for calling us on a higher calling. Thank you for calling us on a straight path that leads unto life. Delivering our souls from the downward road with the unbelieving souls. Thank you, God. Oh, God, teach to us this morning. Preach to us this morning. Hallelujah. Let your word have free course. Let your power have his way in the name of Jesus. Let your power, hallelujah, fall afresh on us. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Let the Holy Ghost fill all the seekers. Hallelujah. That want to be filled, God. Fill them up. Hallelujah. Overflow the cup. Hallelujah. Fill us up, God, with your goodness. Fill us up with your grace. Fill us up, hallelujah. Fill us up with your love. Glory to God. Let us love, hallelujah, like you want us to love. Hallelujah, love our enemies. Love our friends. Love the church. Love you with all our heart, mind, body, and soul. Hallelujah to God. Oh, Lord, we praise you. Oh, Lord, we thank you. Oh, yes, Lord. We magnify you. We extol you. We give you the glory. Hallelujah. Come on, open up your holy mouth and tell God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, open up your holy mouth and tell God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tell God, thank you. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You better praise God for yourself. Hallelujah. Church has come now to a time where people are coming. Hallelujah. Just for a social gathering. People don't come with the mindset of looking for the word of God no more. They don't come with the mindset of hallelujah, not caring what they look like or how they sound. Just giving God the glory. Hallelujah, we're living in a time where the church wants to be pumped up and prepped up like a pep rally. Hallelujah, before they will open up their mouth and praise God. They're waiting on a certain sound from the drummer or the keyboard or the organ. Hallelujah, but hallelujah, here right now, you're going to have to praise God. Hallelujah, be real about it because you ain't got no music to push you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This ain't no pep rally. Hallelujah. God didn't anoint preachers to be uh, 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 DJs. Hallelujah. And MCs uh, to get his people pumped up to praise him. Hallelujah. Uh, but we need to go back to the old time way with a church. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. The preacher couldn't move on with service because somebody kept on jumping up giving God glory. Uh, hallelujah. That's what God wants. He wants you to give him the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not your pep rally preacher. Hallelujah. I ain't your MC. Hallelujah. To get you in the right mood. Hallelujah to God. You either going to praise God because you love him. Hallelujah. You're going to sit there and shut your mouth and don't say nothing. Hallelujah. But I don't know what you come to do. But I come to clap my hands. Glory to God. I come to praise my God. I come to lift him up. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, we thank you. We praise you. Hallelujah. We will grab our Bibles. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And turn to the book of Matthew, chapter 24. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 1. Hallelujah. And if the Lord's will, Psalm 46. Hallelujah. Matthew 24. In Psalm 46. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Those of you watching us on YouTube and Facebook, thank God for you. Go ahead and grab your Bibles. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you're sitting on your couch in your car right now giving God the glory with us. Hallelujah. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But this ain't no pep rally. Hallelujah. This is a Jesus gathering. A 
Holy gathering, huh? Matthew 24, verse number 1. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You got it if you say amen. amen. So I know you're with me. Matthew 24 and also Psalm 46. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. While they find that, those of you on uh, Facebook... Those of you on YouTube, if you will, go ahead and like the video. Hallelujah. Subscribe if you haven't, if you would like. Hallelujah. We're not here to try and make you do nothing. But we do want some people, hallelujah, to subscribe and to share so that you can help us get the word out to the world. That's what we're about, getting the word to the world. And get Jesus. Uh, Matthew 24 and uh, verse number one. The Bible says, and Jesus went out. And departed from the temple. And his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, Hallelujah. Verily I say unto you, Uh, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In verse 3, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, hallelujah, <laughs> the disciples came unto him privately. Jesus up there sitting on the mountain. <laughs> hallelujah. Jesus chilling. <laughs> As he sat upon the mountain of olives, the mountain of olives, the disciples came unto him privately. They didn't come, they came look privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? The world is going to end. People think this world is here forever. This world going to end. Hmm? It's going to end. The disciples were concerned about it. What, what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Amen. Amen. Church. Don't be deceived. I hope y'all hear me this morning. Don't be deceived. For Jesus to tell us this means that there is a deceiver. There's going to be people that come in your midst. There's going to be spirits that come amongst you that tries to deceive you. Matter of fact, your own brain and mind will try and deceive you. Yeah. Try and make you think you don't need God. He wants you to believe your flesh, your brain, your mind. Hallelujah. The devil, want the deceiver, wants you to believe. Hallelujah. That prayer is, is not a significant part of life. Hallelujah. It's not a necessity. Hmm? He wants people to believe, and the devil got a lot of people believing this here. You don't got to gather with the people of God in these last days. You hear people, they say, I don't need to go to church to hear from God. That's the deceiver. Hallelujah. The church don't want your money. Some people won't go to church because they stingy. They, they, they know there's going to be some tithes and offerings that come up. And during the service, and the church don't want your money. The church ain't trying to rob you. Amen. I'm talking about the true church. Now there is churches out here that will try and rob you, but that's a trick of the deceiver as well. See, he got some people deceived by that tactic, and he got these hirelings uh, in the pulpit and these these uh, uh, wolves and sheep's clothing in the pulpits, and he gets some deceived. But those of you who are not deceived by them. You've taken knowledge of them and said, I see that. 
And I don't want to go to church because the church ain't nothing but a money making machine and the church ain't nothing uh, but a but a, 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 a scam is what some people think. But that's the devil. He got his church out there and he made that known on you so that he can deceive you by telling you you shouldn't have to go to church. Because look at what the church is about. No, that's what the devil's church is about. See, the devil's slick. You didn't see that trick coming, did you? He got some deceived and throwing their pocketbooks at the hireling preacher. Huh? The hired preacher. One that don't care for the flock. But those of you who haven't been deceived by his preachers, he got you on the side saying, I ain't got to go to nobody's church. Why would I want to go to church when I see what the scam is? And he's keeping you from God. Because every church ain't like that. How dare you put every church under the same umbrella as the wicked churches? Huh? You tell people don't do you like that. Huh? Your ancestors may probably been a, a member of the KKK, but you ain't got no problem with black people. But you don't want me to put you under the umbrella of your ancestors because you ain't like that, right? So don't put us under the same umbrella as the highland because we don't like that, right? Huh? Huh? Some of you black brothers walking around, some of you got these dreads in your head and gold teeth in your mouth, but you might be an all right brother. You don't want them to, to say you a thug and you a killer and you a drug dealer. Because you ain't like that, right? Huh? Well, don't put us under the same umbrella as these wicked ones because we ain't like that. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> Hallelujah. But look how cunning and tricky and crafty this deceiver is. That's why he's a deceiver. He'll get you and you don't even know it. The deceived don't know that they're deceived. Huh? They get Jesus because they're under the order of a deceiver. Hallelujah. They get Jesus. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9, he said, be not deceived. He said, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. And in the church, you can be, you can have the Holy Ghost and still get tricked. Huh? You shouldn't because you should be walking in the spirit. But everybody don't be walking in the spirit all the time. But 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 he'll get you. You had a Holy Ghost and you think you're loving everybody, but you in the church starting discord. Deceived. Hmm? You in the church, you got the Holy Ghost, but you're going behind the preacher back and talking junk about the preacher. Talking about the preacher a liar. Deceived. Huh? You don't want to fellowship with the people of God. You just want to hurry up and get on to your house in your own little quarters. Because you don't want to deal with certain people in the church. What kind of family is that? Deceived. You got to watch yourself. He tells them in verse 4, look what he said going to happen. In verse 4, he said, Jesus answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. He said, for many shall come in my name. Not one, not two, not three, but many. Many are going to come into my name. I mean, many are going to come in my name saying what? I am Christ. I am Christ. Don't be deceived. And shall deceive many. How can a man come to you? After you done read all this scripture, he come to you and tell you he's Jesus Christ and to follow him and you're going to follow him. Somebody ain't walking in the spirit. Hmm? Somebody don't forgot what the Lord said. Somebody ain't bringing to remembrance the things that was taught to them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Many shall come in my name saying, I am Christ and shall deceive many. The devil tried to get me like this, y'all. I met a man. He was outside of a restaurant asking for help, asking for money. 
And I took him inside the restaurant and bought him lunch and sat down with him and talked to him about the Lord. And he sat there and looked me dead in my face and he said, you know, I am the Lord Jesus Christ, right? He told me, he said, I'm the Lord Jesus. This has happened to me. It's going to happen to you. Just keep on living, serving the Lord. But when he come, don't be deceived. Huh? Oh, because Jesus is coming. But the Bible tells you how he coming. Come on. <laughs> yes, sir. In verse 6, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Ain't it going on? Israel fighting right now. Huh? All over there by Gaza. The Gaza Strip. Huh? Y'all do know that, right? They at war. Huh? Or, or, or prepping up for war. Yeah. You got Jews that's here in, 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 uh, in America who are flying back home to Israel to help the military fight. Yeah. The Israeli military. Wars, rumors of wars. Matter of fact, one of the uh, Humas, he then came out and put a video out telling all Muslims to uh, rage uh, and to sacrifice their souls and their blood. Huh? Y'all seen that? Uh, yeah. Put out a big decree for all Muslims everywhere in every nation. Pay with the soul and the blood. Huh? You see? Wars and rumors of wars. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. This is what's going on. Now, you got people trying to deceive people. You got people coming talking about their Christ. You got wars going on. You even got rumors of wars going on. Wars ain't happening, but people talking about they happening. Yeah. Huh? Now, you were looking at all this stuff going on in the world. And some, here's another deception. Some would say, there ain't no God. Amen. They'll say, there ain't no God. If there was a God, why is all this stuff going on? If there was a God, why won't he just take control? Which leads me to my subject this morning. Listen, subject this morning is God is still in control. God is still in control of this world. Huh? Well, why won't he take control? He got control. The reason things are going the way they're going is because God has ordered it to go that way. You got to get up in your Bible and you'll see that none of this stuff wouldn't be going on unless God ordered it to go on. Hallelujah. Huh? Somebody say, why is there so much chaos? Why is there so much hatred? Why is there so much evil that can't be a God? Because look at all this evil. Well, who's causing the evil? Who's causing the evil? Because if you're going to say the devil caused, there can't be no devil without no Jesus. Jesus created the devil. Hallelujah. And told him where he was going to dwell. <laughs> he told him, you're going to take your behind down to the earth, but you're getting up out of these heavens. I can't have this up in here. You trying to rule over me? I got control. Hallelujah. God is in control. Hmm? In your personal life, God is in control. <laughs> yes, sir. Ain't nothing going on within your life unless God ordered it. Hallelujah. And you might not like what you got going on in certain circumstances, but God is in control. And guess what? He going to make sure you give him glory in the chaos. Give him glory in the praise. Hallelujah. You're going to give him glory on that mountain. Hallelujah. 
won't be long. You're going to be like Jesus sitting on the Mount of Olives. <laughs> Chilling. Huh? All you got to do is trust God and chill. That's all. Just chill. Just chill. Just relax. Huh? Sila. Come on. <laughs> Y'all yeah, be reading in the book of Psalms. It say Sila. Huh? What is that? Sila is like relax, pause, chill. Huh? Sila was something they used in like the, the what they say is Sila is like the word they use in like uh, the, the musical department. Hmm? You get that orchestra going, you get them all them violins and saxophones, all this band and stuff going on that sounds so good, right? And after it sounds so good, you just. Hallelujah. We're going to let them pass on by. Give me a second. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And after you done took all that beautiful music in, you just can't just go on to that. You got to see loud. You got to pause. Let me just take in the moment. Huh? Let me finish. Let me finish taking in what I, what I just heard, what I just witnessed. See loud. Just relax. Just relax. Pause. Just take your hands off. Why? Hallelujah. God is in control. Huh? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Yeah, there's wars going on, rumors going on, but he in control. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. You shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled. Look, God said, look, just, just chill. Don't let it disturb you. Don't let it get you all out of character. Don't lose hope because of what you see and hear going on around you. See, he said there'll be wars and there'll be rumors. Rumors are things you hear. You can actually see that there are certain wars going on, and then you're going to hear about certain things going on. Everything you hear about ain't true. Roma. Hmm? Be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. It must come to pass. Why is this stuff going on? God ordered it. It ain't out of control. God got it under control. Hallelujah. Huh? Same thing like the church. Hallelujah in the book of Acts. The persecution came upon the church. Somebody said, well, why am I serving God? This stuff is getting out of control. We got all the love. No. God used the persecution in the book of Acts against the church. He used it to spread the church abroad. And everywhere they went, they took the word with them. Huh? Even when you go to the book of Acts, I believe it's uh, 16 or 18, uh, where, where uh, the, the Jews had to leave Rome. Huh? Because I think it was just as he, he commanded for all Jews to leave Rome, leave Italy. Huh? They had to leave Italy because, hallelujah, the teaching of Jesus being the Messiah was creating an uproar in Rome. Huh? So he commanded, he said, Y'all got to get out of here. My country, my nation is going all up roar. Huh? Because of your teaching. Isn't that amazing how the teaching of Jesus Christ? Come on over and join us. Uh, how the teaching of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, sister. Hey, hey. You look at them when you call them, they don't come. Hallelujah. That's what we do for you two. Somebody walking by, look a little interested, like they might want to come in. Go out there, give them the invitation. Come on in. Huh? Y'all see all that because we on live. Huh? But that's all right. Hallelujah. So he commanded the Jews to leave Italy. Y'all got to get up out of here. And wherever they went, they took the word. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Persecution came upon the church. 
Huh? They were spread abroad from all these different countries and went to all these different countries and nations and things. And wherever they went, they took the word with them. And God spread the word abroad. So what looked like it wasn't going to work for the good, God made it work for the ministry. Hallelujah. I mean, no, sometimes you just got to take a little... You got to take a little hit on the head for the ministry's sake. Yeah. Huh? You just got to go through a few things for the ministry's sake. You might not be where you want to be or end up where you want to end up all the time, but it's for the ministry's sake. Hallelujah. God got you sitting beside that one person or sitting beside the other person. It got you huh, laid out somewhere for the ministry's sake. Hallelujah. You got to make sure you keep the ministry first. Be ministry minded. Be kingdom minded. Hallelujah. The church needs to be kingdom minded. Huh? Oh, man, I don't want to be assigned to this thing or be assigned to that building or I uh, have to be switch it up and go over here. I like where I'm at. Huh? Be kingdom minded. God got me going somewhere maybe because I need a witness to somebody over here. Somebody over here need to worry. He's going to have me cross paths with some staff member or some, some uh, patient or some, some, uh, some client. Hallelujah. He said, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Verse 7, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes and diverse places. Oh, my God. Look at all this stuff that's going on. It must be out of control. <laughs> huh? This must be, God must can't handle nothing. Because if he could, why would he have all this stuff going on? Why wouldn't he just stop the nations from rising up against each other and kingdoms from rising up against each other? And, huh? If God is such a provider, why does he allow famines? And, huh? If he's such a healer, why is there pestilence? And why he got earthquakes going on in, in many places? And huh? all this stuff is just awry and falling apart. And it must be out of control. God is still in control of this world. Hallelujah. God is still in control. The reason the earthquakes are happening in many places is because God told it to quake. Huh? The reason there's famines and, and, and droughts is because God told it to be famished. Hmm? Thank you, Jesus. You got to look at it, not that God's not in control, but that God got all this going on because he said, I'm going to use this as a sign that the end is near. The end is near. Hmm? The reason these things are going on because the end is near, which means we're running on short time. We got short time. Hallelujah. All these are the beginning of sorrows. My God. Hmm? Just the beginning. It ain't the end of sorrow. It's the beginning of sorrows. Yeah. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. Oh my God. God really got to be out of control now. God can't have his hand on this thing, right? Hallelujah. Now, it done went from nation to nation, kingdom to kingdom, and ain't got nothing to do with me, to now, I've got affliction coming upon my body? Oh, this can't be God. That's how people think, huh? This can't be the Lord. No way. Hmm? Thank you, Jesus. They shall deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. That, that ain't the Lord. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Lord, this thing got out of control. <laughs> Can't you do something? Huh? What, what you mean? They gonna kill you prophesying to me that they gonna kill me. They gonna uh 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 our father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom. Come, come on, we got to pray right now. Because I need God to take control. Because right now, he can't hide it. Because these people are threatening me. Right now, God can't have control because ain't nothing going my way. Ain't nothing in the world is going right.
That's our person what our faithful think. Yeah. Hallelujah. But you got to walk by faith and trust God and let God be God. Come on here. Yeah. Let God be God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And shall and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Y'all look, look what the world we done signed up for. You want your family to love you and to like you. But Jesus said, you're going to be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Other nations are going to hate you. And he's talking to his Jews now. Kind of crazy, huh? Look at him, Palestine, hating the Jews. They're at war right now. huh? Talking about war and all this stuff. Huh? This been going on. Hmm? But it's going to come out on top. God going to make sure that because that's God's people. Hmm? I feel bad for Palestine. They good. coming up against them. Mm, you ain't, it ain't going to be good for you. Because God going to help his people fight. Why? Because he's in control. Huh? Sometimes things are happen so that God can show him, himself strong on your behalf. Sometimes certain things that come so God can show himself healer on your behalf. Come on here, somebody. <laughs> Sometimes God has do some things so he can show himself deliverer on your behalf. Come on. Provider on your behalf. How can God do all this? Because he's still in control. And don't you forget that. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Come on here. Yeah. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Look at these false prophets. Deceiving a whole lot of folk. Mm -mm. Thank God we're not deceived by a false prophet that them rose up. Y'all better praise God for that every day. Huh? People want to try and run the preacher down and call the preacher this and that and he don't know what he's doing and all this and that. Huh? I know people say the same thing about me. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm young. I don't got this and blah, blah, blah. And all. I ain't got this schooling and that school and all that. Huh? You better be thinking God. He made you run across. He had you run across somebody who is not going to deceive you with lies. And be an agent of the devil. Huh? Hallelujah. Be an agent of Satan. Huh? But a preacher of God. Hallelujah. A preacher of the gospel. Glory to God. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. We got to endure some stuff. You hear me? If you don't go through nothing, you ain't enduring nothing. Hmm? Verse 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Put up with it. However long it takes, you put up with it. Hmm? I said, however long it take, put up with it. Now, Lord, we hope it don't take long. Hmm? But you know how much we can bear. Hallelujah. But this too shall turn to you for a testimony. Hallelujah. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. He said, it ain't going to be no end until my word go to every kingdom and every nation. We got to preach it. Hmm? Don't breach. Preach. <laughs> huh? Don't be a breach in the covenant. Don't be a breach in the contract. 
preach the contract. Hallelujah. <laughs> huh? People want to cut away from the word of God. They want to preach the word of God. He said, no, preach it. Huh? They know that I'm God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Know that I'm God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Flip over to Psalm 46. Hallelujah. Look at verse number nine. Psalm 46, verse nine. He said, he maketh the wars to cease unto the end of the earth. Now, we just got done talking about wars and rumors of wars, right? Hmm. Now, David writes here, and he said, he makes the wars to cease. God is in control. He makes the wars start. He makes the wars cease. Amen. He's in control. He breaketh the bow and cut up the spear in sunder. He cut up the spear in two. Uh, you know, the bow and arrow. Uh, he, he break the bow. He cut the, sun, the spear in two. He burned up the chariot in fire. You know, back in the day, they fought with chariots and horses and, and um you know, swords and bows and things like that. Now, in verse 10, <laughs> he said, be still. Come on. And know that I am God. Amen? Amen. Be still. And know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. Amen? Yeah. Amazing. Now watch this. I want y'all to take knowledge of something here. Now Psalm 46. I want y'all to look. Look at verse number one. And listen to David talk. God is our refuge, right? And strength. God is our refuge and strength. This is David talking. A very present help in trouble. Psalm 46, verse 2. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be moved and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. All right? We see David talking, right? Talking about what God is to us and how we shouldn't fear, huh? Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake the swelling thereof, see that. Let's take a minute and take in what we just heard. Hallelujah. There is a river. The streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will, God shall help her, and that right early. Hallelujah. You hear him talking, right? <laughs> Watch it. Now, David doing all this talking. But then God start talking. Hallelujah. David saying, God, you are refuge. Give me praise to God. Praying to God. Thanking God. Telling God about his power and his goodness. Now go down to verse 10. Be still and know that I am not God talking. 
They was doing all this, Lord, thank you. You know, Lord, you this and you that. And then God said, look, man, see up. <laughs> Relax. Huh? David just got there talking about there's going to be wars and God will make the wars to see. God said, look, relax. Don't be troubled. Look, I got you. Look, Hallelujah. just be still. I want you to know something. Now, this ain't David. The God said, know that I am God. Huh? God spoke. When God spoke up, he was letting David know, look, I'm in control. <laughs> huh? Yes, I am your refuge. Yes, I am your strength. Yes, I am a person to help in the time of trouble. But look, man, just see, like, just relax. I, be still. Know that I am God. I will be exalted. God said, I'm going to make sure I'm exalted in the earth and amongst the heathen. The heathen is the unbeliever. He said, I'm going to make the unbeliever exalt me. Huh? Bible said every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. And you're trying to say God ain't in control. You might not praise him now, but one day he's going to make you bow your knee and say, Jesus, you are the Lord. How you going to say that? You might not want to say it right now. You might want to lock up your tongue right now. Even the mute will open up his mouth and say, Jesus is the Lord. Because God is in control. Hallelujah. He controls it all. So why you worry? Huh? Like Deacon Kearney preached one day. He said, he said, uh, uh, why worry when God can't lie? Yes, sir. Why worry when God can't lie? Thank you, Jesus. Know that he's God. You got to know that. Huh? Be still know that I am God. Hallelujah. I'm controlling everything you see. It might seem like chaos. It might seem hectic, but it ain't out of my hands. I haven't lost my control of what I've created. It's happening because I've ordered it to happen. It's happening because I got it prophesied to my church. I got it happening as a reminder of what I told you. When you see these things, the end is near. So hold on. <laughs> and be strong. And know that I am God. Endure these things. Endure this moment. Endure these times. Because we are living in perilous times, but you got to endure it and know it won't be long. He got it going on, so you know it ain't long before he come get us up out of here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the dead in Christ shall rise, we that are alive and remain shall be caught up together to meet the Lord in the air, and we shall forever be with the Lord. If you want to live with the Lord, the Bible has instructed every last human being on the face of this earth, whether you are Jew, Greek, huh, bond or free, he has instructed all of us, repent. In the book of Acts chapter 2 and verse 38, he said, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. May God bless you. Know that he's God. Know that he's in control. In Jesus' name. Come on, y'all give God a praise for the word.